Jim Mann. I'm the founder of Hand Washing for Life. I worked for many years as a chemist around the world, developing many products related to hand washing and cleanliness. And I started to realize that no matter what we did, we couldn't seem to solve the compliance problem that hand washing endures. So we decided we might be able to do something about that, and we put together this alliance and created the Hand Washing for Life Institute. This is a problem that cannot be solved by any one company or any one organization. So what we decided to do was align the labs where we could take the expertise of the companies, companies that were willing to work together, to work with information from the CDC and the universities, take this lab science and convert it to a practical applied science. Science that takes into consideration the workforce, human behaviors. Our focus is heavily on where food is served, stored, delivered, prepared, largely because it's one of the more dangerous points. So the markets of the people handling food, largely restaurants, also food processors, are an important focus. And the person with the responsibility is not the FDA, is not the local health inspector, it's the operator. And certainly the schools have been a prime example. High degrees of absenteeism, good hand washing programs significantly reduce that absenteeism. We are definitely talking about a culture change. It takes a concerted effort at management's part, of the workers' part. Everybody has to be on the same page and value cleanliness. Our hands-on system is a five-step risk-based program to assess risk, set standards, and implement an integrated program that will sustain over time. It's quite clear that companies differ in their tolerance for risk. For that reason, we start with assessing the risk as the first step. The important thing to do after that is to set a standard. We need those standards set for the frequency and the quality of the hand wash. Now that we have that ready, let's optimize the system to make sure the conditions for success are there. Now that we have our standards, we're set to train, we're set to reward success. And finally, monitoring. We want this solution to go on for years. With that, operations go from underwashing to under control.